my channel is almost three years thank you so much for your support as usual i'm here with a product review and it is the african pride shea butter morocco moisture intense leave-in conditioner and as usual this is for back to natural mist textures curly wavy kinky curly and transitionist and i'll also say if you are stretching because um, you also deal with a lot of new growth now let me look at the consistency i prefer creamy leavings to watery leavings so that was the first thing that made me buy this product it's very very creamy not too thick but quite thick enough so you need just a little bit to apply onto the hair apart from that it's also very smooth so application is very easy it gets absorbed into the hair very very quickly but the downside of this thickness is if you're not careful you go overboard with it so a little goes a long way now let me look at the effect in terms of how to use it on the hair and it says that it helps to moisturize and easily detangle that's the first thing it says now in terms of detangling i don't think it has enough slip slip for me I don't think it's really that slippery to help me detangle my hair however in terms of moisturizing yes it's very very moisturizing because um daytime i use this product i tend to find that my hair stays very soft easy to manage throughout the day and i'm actually very happy to have this product with me this time round for my stretch because i know it's going to help with the new growth so I like it for that purpose. Then secondly, turn phrase to smooth curls, curls and waves. This I cannot attest to because my hair is not curly, it's rather coarse. And so even with the straight texture, I can say it eliminated the phrase. What I rather use is my um, anti-phrase phrase, um, polish when I realize that my hair is too frizzy but I haven't noticed that this product helps with my frizz then the third thing is nourish for greater shine and softness softness yes I noticed that anytime I apply it my hair remains soft throughout the day and for the shine I use this in combination with oil so I can't really say whether it's the oils or it's the leave-in that gives me that shine but I like it in terms of giving me that moisturized hair I want the other thing too that it says it can do is excellent for use before blow drying hair or using hooded dryer I roller set a lot so I use this at the salon to get my roller set and I've also used this before getting my pen roll set and it's very good but for blow drying I haven't tried it yet and if i do try it the update will be on my blog www.ganyanempress.com do check it so that i don't miss any update i post as often as i can sometimes being daily so do check it out so that you see what i do to my hair more often the other thing i'll talk about is the packaging now unlike the moisturizer which came in the bottle this is a jar so you have to open it up which exposes the whole product and if you tend to open this every day you may perhaps not um, have a good experience with the harden and the hardening that sometimes occurs when air blows over some product so the packaging for me makes it a bit difficult to um, use the way I want it to compare to just the bottle where you pour onto your hand and because of that I tend to have some hair in it so in as much as I try to pour sometimes I pour it sometimes I just forget I dip my hand into it and so it for the smell it smells like just any other African fried product it's very sweet orange citrus like smell as usual not so strong very mild it's actually delicious can I describe the smell it smells sweet very nice fruity mild I like it anyway so 
I also like it in terms of leaving my hair smelling good. Actually, I like it because I like the smell because most often you apply a product and at least you just want to know that you apply the product. I mean, yeah, I like it for that. And let me also look at the last aspect of this product, which is the price or the cost. It is around 25 Ghana CDs in most shops. You can get it from GH Long Hair online store on Facebook and also with urbanmakes.com those are the two that I know carry this product so far a lot of ladies have also testified to its uh, moisturizing quality which is very good so I would say that it's very moisturizing I love it um, I was asked if I compared compared to the beautiful textures Tango Tame in Living which one I would take. I would say that with the beautiful textures tangled taming living when it comes to detangling it works much much better compared to this one but in terms of moisturizing I find this to be more moisturizing so they sort of have their own ups and downs but apart from that I would want to have those two I actually do um, out of the beautiful textures one so I'll be getting that again I really love those products this one works very well for me especially with the daily use so I wouldn't hesitate to restock any day any time the other side of it too is that it is protein free so if you've been following me you know that I am just not into protein products because my hair is extremely sensitive to protein so as usual this is protein free but with my Kento shea butter leave-in the argan oil one I tend to balance my protein content and I also do protein treatment perhaps once a month with a light protein product the Apogee 2 minutes reconstructor so I don't have a problem with over moisturized hair all right ladies so I guess that is all I can say about this product I would definitely 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 recommend it especially if you're relaxed and i know it will work just as well for you thank you for watching this lengthy review i'll catch you in another update stay blessed bye bye uh.